Yeah. Perhaps the most successful theory ever about anything fails in its attempt to predict the amount of dark energy in the universe. Yeah. Mm. And it fails badly mm. by a factor. What's up with that, Brian? Of a Google. <laughs> Wow, by a factor Big, bigger of bigger than a Google, ten bigger. to the ten, ten, ten to like a, it's like ten to one hundred twenty three or something. No, yeah. Google is ten to the hundred. Yeah, it gets the wrong answer by the biggest amount ever in a mismatch between theory and observation. Yeah, boom, 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 where boom. are we with the dark energy theorists? Well, look, what this is showing us is that quantum mechanics is incredibly successful when you apply it to the electromagnetic force, to the weak nuclear force, to the strong nuclear force. But we've long known that when you apply it to gravity. Something goes wrong. Something changes. This is the motivation for string theory. So why does empty space push the cosmos apart with a whisper when our best equations insist it should roar? We didn't expect nothing to do anything, yet the universe is accelerating, as if the void itself carries a pressure that nudges galaxies apart. That alone challenges the everyday intuition that gravity, wherever you find it, pulls. In Einstein's equations, pressure gravitates too, when that pressure is sufficiently negative, more negative than one-third of the energy density, it makes the expansion accelerate. Empty space, with the right kind of pressure, behaves not like a weight, but like an anti-